Hello again, Doran Markowitz here from D Guitars Miami with another edition of This Week in Cool Custom Guitar Modifications. This week I'm actually featuring the same guitar that was in the last video that you saw, which is my most recent build, my, my Red Special Number no. 7, the Striped Pajamas model, but I made a few modifications to it. Uh, the first thing that I did was I replaced the Wilkinson Roller Bridge and the GFS X trim with a Washburn Wonder Bar. Um, and I also made a new uh, half moon plate to go behind it that looks just like the rest of the guitar so that it looks the same as the raised relief faux pick guard. Now the reason that I did this was because when I when I was building this guitar I wanted to just build a really cool backup you know a, a nice butcher block themed guitar I didn't anticipate it being um, such an impressive player especially even the members of my my Queen Tribute band really knocked out by the sound of this so I determined that I needed to make it feel um, just like my main guitar for the last almost 10 years which some of you may uh, recall my 47 piece model that I built back in 2005 uh, this has been my go-to guitar for almost 10 years now and it's got a wonder bar and this is just it's always been just such a slick player and such an amazing guitar so I knew that I needed to give the new one this one the same type of feel so that's what I did so I, I installed the wonder bar I also made a um, a slide clip for the strap just like Brian May has out of a piece of molded plastic that I did basically it's thin pickguard material that I heated and then molded around the shape of a slide and then what I did was I bolted it on with four uh, nuts and bolts all the way through but in order for the screw heads to not scratch the finish I wrapped it in duct tape afterwards and then super glued all the uh, seams so that way it would hold at least for a while. You'll notice that the uh, slide I use is actually unbreakable. And the reason is because it's PVC pipe. Uh, a friend of mine, Roscoe Peterson, actually uh, told me that I should do this. That's what he uses. Uh, hey, you ever try PVC pipe? I was like, no, why? He said, sounds like glass. Ooh, so it's great because I've shattered one too many glass slides in my life. So, okay. Um, even though these things actually weigh a full pound, by removing the other hardware and everything, I've only added an extra half a pound to the guitar. So now it's seven and a half pounds. I don't really feel too much of a difference. The action is still the same at one sixteenth of an inch. Um, the intonation is perfect all the way up. And now... I get the whammy action that I really like. Anybody that knows me knows that I swear by the Washburn Wonder Bar. It's my favorite trim in the world. Um, every time I see one that I can afford, I snatch it. I wish they still made them. It's unfortunate they only had a short four-year run. But, you know, when, they're at, when you find them, you grab them. All right, so... Let's do a little shredding. Here's some crunchy crunch distortion.
take it up a notch to some shred distortion. <laughs> get the idea um, yeah I'm much happier with it like this nothing against the GFSX trim or the uh, Wilkinson roller bridge they're a great system uh, that X trim is actually one of the best Bigsby style trims that I've seen because it's actually for all intents and purposes the the construction is similar to this in that you string straight through the back goes underneath rollers and then over the rollers of the respective bridge that you use unless it's a tunematic or whatever so there really was no change in terms of that. It's got the same down rollers and it's got roller saddles. Um, but I needed I needed my bar on top like a you know like Hendrix, and I needed uh, I needed that range and just the same feel. Um, but it's a very cool unit. I do recommend it. I mean, you can't go wrong for about fifty bucks from GuitarFetish.com. They're fantastic units. Once you dial them in just right, bend the arm up a bit, you get more range. Use a heavier spring, and that way you get more depth out of it. But in the meantime, Wonder Bar is the way I have to go. So, um, all right. So until next time, if you have any uh, any questions about what I've done with this, or if you've got a, an instrument that needs modifications or servicing um, or restoration, such as a broken headstock, fretwork, electronics, etc., um, acoustic instruments bass, or if you have a guitar idea in mind that you'd like to have built, or one of, one of my own custom guitars, such as a Red Special, one of my Fins, a Sweet model, um, one of my Golden Lions, don't hesitate to give me a call at 305-896-1811. Until next time, Doran Markowitz from D-Guitars Miami, thanks for watching, and have a great day.